So we have already factor form where x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 should be less than 0. And we're going to think about corresponding equation. So we said that x minus 1 equals 0 and we get that x equals 1 as a solution. Then from second factor we get that x equals 2 as a solution. And if we said x minus 3 is equals 0, we get that x equals 3 as a solution. And we put um, open circles as we know that these values will not satisfy our inequality. So now we're going to check numbers from each of the intervals and we're going to start with x equals 0. So we substitute it in our inequality and we get negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3. And that's going to be negative by negative gives us positive and positive times negative gives us negative number which is less than zero so all values which are less than one will satisfy our equation our inequality sorry so next number to check is x equals three halves so get three halves minus one times three halves minus two and three halves minus three so that's going to be positive times negative times negative and it is not less than zero because we get positive number <clears throat> so the next number is going to be five or two so we substitute and get five or two minus one then five halves minus two times five halves minus three so that's going to be positive positive and times negative therefore we get number which is less than zero so all numbers from two up to three will satisfy our inequality and the last number we're going to check is four so substitute and get positive positive times positive which is greater than zero so we will not satisfy our inequality so the solution set will be from infinite negative infinity up to one union from two up to three and we use parentheses because we're not including the, those values <clears throat>